Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is December 23rd, 2016. We're on Hilton Head Island in Indigo Run. And we're in the golf club section of Indigo Run here at 23 Heather Lane to see and walk through this beautiful luxury home listed for sale with Alliance Group Realty. It has 4,000 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, a three-car garage, a Carolina room. It has a patio with a golf course view. It's a large luxury home here in one of the best neighborhoods on Hilton Head Island, uh, a gated community. Uh, the golf club in Indigo Run has optional private golf. It is a Jack Nicklaus uh, golf golf course. Uh, the golf club being again optional membership. The other 18-hole golf course in this community being the Golden Bear, also a Jack Nicklaus course, again with optional membership. Well, I'm showing you this house as a buyer's agent with 41 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H and my company, Go Gated Realty. Well, I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And of course, Indigo Run is a gated community. And in the golf club here, you actually have gates within gates. Uh, we can go into detail about the uh, different uh, parts of Indigo Run and of course, all the different communities of Hilton Head Island when you call me. I'll give you my contact information at the end of the video. But let's just take a look at this house. It has a large concrete driveway with brick spacers and uh, a, a really beautiful use of seashells in this uh, central area here. We're gonna see that again on the front porch and again on the back porch. We have uh, beautiful carriage lights. That fifth bedroom is up over the garage. We're going to go up there and see that. It's uh, really a very large bonus area that could be used for any number of things. We have a recessed front door well out of the weather. A beautiful archway in this entryway and you see that that is also sequenced in the uh, windows that you see in the dining room there to the right and to the master bathroom here to the left. And those, of course, are vinyl clad windows with the interior mullions. Many people ask me about the chains when they see them from the gutters. Apparently they don't have that in other parts of the country. The chain is nothing more than a downspout. The water comes out of your gutter and it comes right down that chain to the ground. It's just a little bit more visually attractive than an aluminum downspout. Here's our brick stairs, just two brick steps take you up to your seashell finish on your concrete deck here on the front porch taking us through a double door into the living area and this entire first floor is on slab which means concrete platform it's what you want ladies and gentlemen if you can avoid it avoid having your house elevated and avoid all the different issues that you can have with having a floor joist system in this case we're on flat concrete the way to be well look at this beautiful entrance this is really outstanding architecturally and the spaces of this house are very warm and welcoming uh, clearly with the hand of an architect involved in this beautiful custom home uh, a large window at the end of our uh, living room there we also have a family room but when we look up we have three skylights bringing light into the foyer, into the entranceway. And immediately to the right, we have our dining area, which is open to the foyer. And the dining room has its own beauty with a barrel ceiling. And those are, that's indirect lighting left and right on that barrel ceiling which just means a curvilineal, curvilineal ceiling, ladies and gentlemen. Large, beautiful window in the dining area. 
a beautiful dining room. Let's just come back over. The hallway takes us down to our second and third bedrooms. We do have a wet bar here facing the dining room. All of this open to the kitchen and family room. We're going to go around through the living room and take a look. It's a beautiful plan. And I think you're gonna like it. The floor plan is what we call circular, meaning you can go around both ways and into this family room. Your larger homes, your larger uh, luxury homes on Hilton Head Island are going to have both a living room that we just walked through as well as a family room. And most of the living is done in the family room. The uh, living rooms don't get much use, frankly, but this is a beauty. Gosh, you have three large fixed windows here with three upper windows. You have a double recessed ceiling over on this side. You have your fireplace, which is gas or propane to be technical because we don't have gas on the island. We have canned propane that are out in the service yard. Beautiful uh, recessed shelves and uh, cabinets there, what we call built-ins, where you can put your personal items. And all of this is open to the kitchen. In the distance, there is the dining room. Off to this side, we have this Carolina room, which is absolutely gorgeous. It has a tile floor. Those panels open and close, so it's a combination. It can be completely enclosed in the winter time, uh, or it can be opened up as a screen porch. And that's why some people call it a Carolina room instead of just a screen porch. This one has a tile floor. Immediately to the right there is your third bedroom, which they're using as kind of a study. Uh, this house is not staged, it's actually being lived in. And so the items that you see are the personal items of the owner. And we'll try to be as non-intrusive as possible as we show off the various beautiful features of this house. And those features include a large and beautiful kitchen with an outstanding breakfast bar here. The granite is just gorgeous. It runs all the way across and then your sink faces out to your family room and the golf course view beyond. And I see they have a setting sun as well. We're here late in the day, so we're gonna be able to video as the sun sets in the distance. Beautiful cabinetry here with uh, frosting and pulls that just match beautifully. The island with the vegetable sink in the middle, very distinctive, very tasteful. We have wood floors here in our foyer and down the hallway through the kitchen and into the family room. And look at some of the fluting here. This is just a beautiful kitchen, beautiful cabinet, clearly higher end cabinets. The cave over the gas fireplace, excuse me, the gas range is uh, really a, a, quite a combination of traditional and modern. Really looking good. The appliances are GE profile, by the way. And we don't just have a backsplash, ladies and gentlemen, we have a granite backsplash. And it goes all the way up, all the way up, looking good. Looking very good. Come down here and get another look at it. We have under cabinet lights, and this is what is sometimes called a pot filler, the uh, actual plumbing fixture over your range that allows you to fill up a uh, spaghetti pot as an example so you don't have to carry it across the kitchen. The kitchen has a pass-through to the dining room. Worth a second look. That's a beautiful light fixture there. And again, the house is sold unfurnished. The furnishings are not included. Beautiful GE profile stainless appliances. All in all, an absolutely outstanding kitchen. Beautiful wood floors. Beautiful wet bar. Very distinctive finishings in this house. And our master bedroom then is to the left. We have a coat closet, 
wood floors lead us right into this master bedroom suite. That also has a recessed ceiling, beautiful art niche, which is a, a mirrored entry there to the left. These two doors immediately to the left are his and her walk-in closets. We won't go in there, but they're very ample. And then the master bedroom. Once again, we have our bayed large fixed windows at the end, as we saw in the family room. So this architectural detail is sequenced through the house beautifully. We have a recessed tray ceiling, or just let's just say double recessed ceiling in this case. All kinds of details everywhere you look is beauty and quality. It's uh, the description of a luxury home. Very large master bedroom, plenty of room for anyone's king size furniture, and more, and more. When you come into the master suite then, once again, these are the walk-in closets to the right, and then to the left is our bathroom. With the focal point as you entry with the jetted tub, the large window, and as we saw in the foyer, we have another pair of skylights. All kinds of beauty in this house. The jetted tub has a limestone surround. Built-in shelves. A walk-in limestone shower with a frameless door. The water closet, all limestone flooring here, ladies and gentlemen. All limestone, high quality limestone. Beautiful cabinets at our vanity. You have his and her uh, uh, basins. Beautiful marble top coming right across. Really looking good. Big fixed mirror really lets the light bounce around. We have a dressing table over here to the side. A beautiful luxury master bedroom suite. And let's just head down the hallway to the right then. See the rest of the house. To the left we have our half bathroom. And once again, we have a beautiful limestone floor with the uh, marble accents, beautiful tile work. We have high baseboards. We have a pedestal sink and we have lots of crown molding. Let's just take a quick look up and see that. Crown molding is one of the characteristics and hallmarks of a luxury home. This. Uh, Extra woodworking finish is the type of thing you see in a beautiful custom home. Our laundry is over here. Clearly a uh, large laundry built in. Um, that's your ironing board, ladies and gentlemen. That piece uh, set into the wall. Your full size machines. You have a stone top here at your wash basin. The luxury continues throughout. And then we just take a look into our three-car garage. We won't linger too long here, but each one has its automatic door opener. It is a finished garage with large, expensive windows facing the street, <coughs> facing the side. Out in this direction is our service yard. We have three large heat pumps there. And our propane tanks. So they will take the delivery then through that door. There's our heat pumps. These new heat pumps um, were installed in 2015. We have a water softener. So lots of uh, extras in this house. We have storage here. And large house still needs lots of storage.
and we have bedrooms both left and right here. We can call them, I suppose, the second and the third bedroom. Good sized, triple windows here, two casements left and right of a fixed window. And this room has its private bathroom with a shower. Again, beautiful ceramic shower. Lots of quality throughout this house. Same tile that we have on the floor, we have on the shower. Great quality stone top on our vanity. Good sized rooms. And we have ceiling fans. Full 52 inch ceiling fans, that's what we want. We'll walk through this back bedroom on our way out to the back as we catch the sunrise, sunset, excuse me, but this is being set up as a, a little den or a sitting room, a TV room. And it too has its private bathroom. Beautiful ceramic work, much the quality that we saw in the other bedroom. But we'll come back out through here when we head out back. Let's go upstairs now, see the second floor. So we have three bedrooms on the first floor, two bedrooms up here. And how about this for a bedroom? This is uh, way oversized, but the reason that it uh, can be a bedroom is because it does have this bathroom right here. So if you have a need for five full bedrooms, you've got it. But otherwise, this would be more of like a bonus room or a uh, recreation type room. Good quality throughout. Another skylight up here. But this room is um, the type of thing that um, you can only get in a really large house because uh, large houses allow you to have really big rooms and Look at this, these built-ins are just incredible. Well, this is being used as like, almost like a commercial, it's a hobby room, but whoever is here really knows what they're doing. This is a set up as a sewing, sewing room, so that's the big hobby here, but it's also an office. It's that large. Now, other people, of course, might have different ideas for maybe a pool table. When it's your house, you can do what you want. This house is so big, it also gives you a beautiful walk-in attic. Off of that big room, you have a big walk-in attic. How great is that? Well, we don't have basements here in the South Carolina Low Country, so we need to have storage, closets, or attics. That's where we store so much of what we own. And the question is, how do you access the attic? Well, this is a walk-in. This house also has the full house uh, vacuum system. If you're not familiar with that, that's where your vacuum is located down in the garage. And then the, uh, you carry just the, the wand around and you plug it in here and there. And a lot of people like that uh, better than taking a vacuum cleaner around. So now to the back of the house, this would be our fourth or fifth bedroom through some double doors. This room too also has a private bath and has a slider with four panels. So the middle two panels slide open and give you this beautiful view from the second floor balcony out onto the golf course and the setting sun, which is what we have today because we're here late in the afternoon. And I don't know which hole this is on the uh, Jack Nicholas course, but this course was the first course that Jack Nicholas designed together with his son, Jackie. And it is just an outstanding course, a completely private course, once again with optional membership. So you can enjoy this beautiful community and these golf course or wooded views without having to actually join the club. And they have different levels of membership. They have a social membership and then they have the golf course membership and we can go into those details when you call. Just take a look around the neighborhood. These are all large luxury homes. 
and generally regarded as one of the best uh, areas, one of the best neighborhoods on Hilton Head Island, and one of the newer ones, this house having been built in 2004, and by the way, it does sit on 0.42 acres. And my wife and I lived here in Indigo Run for the last 10 years before we moved to Bluffton five years ago. We loved living in Indigo Run, and the community is so beautifully situated for so much convenience on the island. It's uh, quick to the south end, it's quick to all the mid-island um, things like your hospital, your library. So much is located mid-island on Hilton Head Island and it's private back in here. Here's the private bathroom for this bedroom. Same quality we've seen elsewhere, beautiful tile work, stone top on our vanity tile floor. Everything is as it should be. Well, let's go out back and finish up. I'll give you my contact information. Invite you to call me or email and tell me about the kind of home you're looking for. Most likely, if you're watching this video and considering this house, which is $750,000, you're probably looking for a luxury home. And by the time you get up to this price, we have just some beautiful homes on Hilton Head Island and elsewhere for you to consider. So I would certainly invite you to call me about your real estate needs. And of course, I don't just deal in luxury homes or gated communities. I deal in everything from second homes and condominiums to uh, inexpensive family homes and retirement homes. And I guess everything in between, so to speak. But. What I do when a buyer contacts me, and again, I'm showing you this home as a buyer's agent, is we talk about what you're looking for. I'm not gonna to try to sell you anything. I'm going to listen to what you want, what your needs are, uh, learn about your lifestyle, uh, your budget, what you're looking for in a community, in a house, and then I'll help you find it. And I do have 41 years of experience here in the Hilton Head area on Hilton Head Island and in Bluffton, and um, I'm sure that I can help. I can help you find the community that would seem to be best for you, and we can locate that house, hopefully get a bargain for you, and I'm on your side. So as a buyer's agent, I don't represent the seller, that's the seller's agent. Every home that's listed, ladies and gentlemen, has an agent that represents the seller, and as your buyer's agent, I represent you to get the best deal for you. And it just doesn't cost you anything more. I'm only paid at closing. If you buy and when you close. If you buy and when you close. So it makes it really a no-brainer, I think, to have a buyer's agent on your side, helping you shop and compare, giving you the information and advice that you can trust. Beautiful house, beautiful house here in the golf club at Indigo Run. We'll just walk around front and finish up. My cell number, and please call anytime, is 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. And my email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D dot com. And my website is gogated.com, where you can search for all properties on your own at any time. But I would just invite you to call or email. Let's get acquainted. Let me help you with your concerns and your goals and work together to find the right home and community for you on Hilton Head Island or Bluffton I certainly look forward to meeting with you and working with you as your buyer's agent here on Hilton Head Island. It's really been a pleasure to show you this beautiful home here at number 23 Heather Lane. 23 Heather Lane in the golf club at Indigo Run. Absolutely outstanding. $750,000. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, there are more. 
at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. And I certainly welcome your visit. Please subscribe. And it's been a wonderful year here for real estate on Hilton Head Island in Bluffton. I hope you had a great year. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holiday. I look forward to meeting with you soon, possibly in 2017, whenever you're ready. I'll be here. I'd love to see you. Thanks again.